GGU, as everyone has said, the, the opportunities provided are amazing. Lunch and learns, career fairs, it's, they really do a great job of setting us up to find a job, but know that there are opportunities outside of these walls as well. So I'm, I'm from Wisconsin. I had $400 and a used car. I threw a suitcase in the trunk and I drove to California. I was a musician at the time. I moved out here to play music. I wasn't an accounting major. Like I had it all figured out. I talked to a lot of kids, like I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And I got the whole next 20 years figured out. I did not. You know, I'm the youngest of seven kids. My parents barely could get me to college. If you shadowed any one of us, I would think you'd be very surprised at what we do on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. We're not kind of banging out the accounts and you know putting financial statements together all day. I made the the jump to Wells Fargo, and um, I went into their internet group which that was in 2000, and uh, it was a really exciting time in internet. I'm, I'm a CPA by trade, but I, I write our software as well, so I kind of learned some code on the side. I also worked with you know, Major League Baseball, the NFL, the NBA, the internet boom. Practically, you start to think, all right, well, where's a career that is interesting where I can support myself and a family and, and do some interesting things? And that's kind of what started me down the accounting path. The career here is pretty intimidating, but if you've already met some of those people through the lunch and learns, you are more at ease. You can go talk to them first at the company and then go talk to someone else to make another impression on someone at that company. The companies around here are just dying for good <laughs> finance people. That's, and that's why I'm here. The more you network, the more comfortable you get with it. And I think that's a really big advantage. It's a really good training ground and you get a lot of skills very quickly and a lot of exposure. Yeah, I always lose my top three advantages. So whenever I network with someone or do an interview process, I always talk, make sure I talk about what I'm good at, why you should hire me, know how to sell yourself. I feel like I got one of my interviews because I happened to sell my couch on Craigslist to someone who was an assurance staff at Deloitte. <laughs> you know, people get so worried about their first job. But what's really matters is, is, is this a good next step? If I were to look at my resume, is it going to make any sense to anyone? It's a great, diverse um, career with a lot of traction and a lot of staying power. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to get through that exam in that fifth year. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, it's, it's very difficult, but if you make a go of it, um, really a lot of opportunities.